Hey, welcome to Infinite Realms, and yes, it's another haul video. Yeah, I'm using a lot of my tax return to uh, you know, grab some extras this uh, past couple of weeks. So, let's move on. <coughs> Take a look. Uh, first up is Silver Centurion Iron Man. I uh, very vividly remember when this change happened. I did resist it initially. Um, then I came to embrace it. It was, uh, I thought it was a cool change. And uh, this one looks really, I mean, it's what it says it is. It is uh, Silver Centurion uh, Iron Man. Um, this one was hard to get um, because, of course, it was an exclusive. Uh, but I did find it on a secondhand market a little bit above retail, not a whole lot. Um, you know, and. The, the cool part is, is you know when you find that oh god please have free shipping yes free shipping good okay so you know you're, you're just spending that so this one um, is a really good figure I really like the uh, lines on it and the backpack and everything it's just really nice so yeah Silver Sun Centurion um, <laughs> what can you say I mean He's a cool figure. Um, now, the head articulation doesn't get that look up that we like to see some from figures nowadays. Um, a lot of that's just the armor gets in the way. But still, it still works great. Um, also, I noticed, you know, after just this little playing around, ankles got really weak. And I had a hard time standing him up after that. So don't know if it's just mine or if it's uh, something's going on there so uh, keep that in mind if you uh, get this guy but still he's a cool addition you know Iron Man's probably the biggest part of my collection so uh, you know I was glad to get this so just for comparison we've got uh, the uh, AI Iron Man which is pretty much the first uh, the uh, good old uh, Bronze Age suit um, and uh, modular armor Iron Man just to give you an idea of what the Iron Man look like together and then of course if you don't recognize this team up or rather adversarial uh, situation you need to turn in your geek card right now um, of course Master actually stole uh, some of the tech from Tony Stark, which cr started the Armor Wars, one of the best storylines Iron Man's ever had. I'm just kidding, you don't have to turn in your geek card, but it's a good thing to know that Spymaster caused that much damage. So yeah, if you saw my last haul video, I told you some of my tale of war. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is basically, you know, things got so bad I had to sell off some Legends to eat. It was not just Legends either, it was a lot of stuff, but you know, I think Legends and um, what was left of my DC um, it really got hit the worst. Uh, you know, there's a whole other story here, there was a whole tub of toys that um, my DCs um, really bit the dust. I'm going to start building that back up again. I don't know how I'm going to do it because... You know, I'm going to try to make sure it's DC Classics or in that vein. Uh, the McFarland stuff's too tall, so, you know, anyway. But one of the big things was I needed money fast. Um, they were about to turn my power off. Um, and there's the thing I would, I would, it was so bad, I would take pictures at home, go to the library, uh, which is about a mile up the road from me, um, use their Wi Fi to put the listings up. It was that bad. Um, so yeah in order to check the listings I had to go to the library I mean imagine trying to do that I mean yeah, yeah it sucked but um, one of the big ones that um, my collection lost was Deadpool because Deadpool you know, the Ryan Reynolds movie had come out um, and he was mega popular so you know, I had to sell Deadpool, um, and I, ne you know, I really regretted that. When I was finally able to get a job again, um, it took me years to recover 
from this. Uh, you know, this joke is we'll never financially recover from this. I almost did. And um, the big losses was Deadpool. Um, I really sold off Deadpool because I needed the money so desperately that bad, and I wanted to keep one. And so Deadpool eluded me for a long time after that. You know, every time I saw Deadpool, it was like. You know, so high up of money, you know, twice retail, three times retail, and I didn't want to pay that much. And I was being stubborn. And then, you know, that Deadpool wave came out, I was really disappointed it wasn't just a plain red Deadpool. So, uh, long story short, I was telling the story in a group. I was in, and I gave him a lot more details, too. I mean, it was like literally, you know, they came to shut my power off one day, and I said, give me one more day. One more day, I should have some money in enough to pay my power bill and I literally one more day I had the money <laughs> it was uh yeah you know I really begged for one more day and um that kind of thing I mean it was it got pretty severe um but um I was told my tale of woe to somebody who was looking at me like man how did you you really survived all that I'm like yeah I mean it was tough but you know, I had to sit and he couldn't believe it so much that he couldn't imagine it because he said I could never do that and I'm like I didn't want to it was just that or starve and get freeze to death you know, I mean this is literally what I was facing and so he's like you know I tell him I tell him the Deadpool part and I'm like you know I just wanted one Deadpool I mean I don't need an army of Deadpools I'll need a hundred Deadpools. I just want one Deadpool. Red. And the dude just messaged me. He said, I'll, I'll sell you the. I, I've got an extra. I'll sell it to you. Um, but I'm not going to scalp it. I'm not going to do the heavy price. I'm going to do the retail. And I, I actually, uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I thanked him, um, and I uh, I did give him a couple of dollars more. Um, and why wow, to my surprise, it it is in their box, in the retro box, and everything. It is Deadpool. It, it's he, he's here. He's finally here, and I am so overjoyed. You know, I, I God, I've been talking five minutes about this, but uh. I, I don't know if it can mean as much because I don't know I, I don't know I mean it's not like I'm broke right now but somebody recognizes what you went through and then they in turn you know give you something that they're not they intended to make money off of but they're not going to make as much money off of it because they understand they understand, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm, my heart's overwhelmed. But I would have accepted a loose one. I, I, I would have, um, you know, as long as I had the accessories. I, I couldn't believe he sent me a box one. Um, and I was in shock. I was just like, oh wow. And I got the joy of opening this. And and I, he knows I'm an opener, so he knew what was going to happen. Um, and I got the joys of looking at it for the first time, fresh out of the box. And oh my. God, I'm so happy. This is a Deadpool I never owned. I um, I I, I um, can't even remember what the last Deadpool I owned was. I mean, I know he was. Uh, he sold for a lot. He he paid my power bill. Um, but you know, this Deadpool is just perfect. I mean, this is the Deadpool I wanted all this time I love the sheen on the blue I think that looks great I love the uh, the gun hands the, the the red on the gun I've seen a version of Deadpool that has a silver on the gun um, I don't know I think that was a regular release and not a retro release so that might have been what's going on I'm not sure um, I really really dig this figure um, this is the version you know you truth be told if you you just said okay what version of Deadpool do you want this is it this was the one I wanted this is the exact one I wanted no holds barred no no if ands or buts this was it I mean he's just 
looks good, but you still see that little bit of comedic irony coming out from behind that Kyle, even though he's trying to look so mean. He's Deadpool. And I just wanted one simple Deadpool. Okay, I want an X-Force Deadpool too, but I, I should be able to get that on my own, I think. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. So, you know, <sighs> that's the thing. I mean, I always joke that reviews are not objective, but you know, can I separate myself from my joy right now? And I, I can't. I'm going to admit it up front. I can't. I'm just going to say five stars because I, I I got the figure I wanted for It's been a while. It's been a long while. And I got the figure I wanted. And I'm so happy. That's it. I'm just happy with this figure. He just looks cool. He is cool. I, I can't think of... Uh, the anonymous person um, and I'm keeping him anonymous I don't want people bugging him uh, saying hey I've got a tail of woe too now I mean you know I don't think you'll ever find the conversation that was in a private group and uh, you know I just can't thank this person enough I'm overwhelmed and happy and thank you so much for that I really need it thank you so much I hope you're uh, watching this right now I've experienced my joy um, because when you go from a, through a tough time like that, your heart sinks a little, and then this, something like this gives, gives you hope and re, hope in life again. Um, not to say that far gone, you know, but it reestablishes your hope in the game. Um, five stars, by the way, obviously. All right, so here's Deadpool, really excited to meet his hero, Captain America. And yes, if you've read the comic, that is comic accurate. And here we have Deadpool with his man crush, Spider-Man. And yes, that is comic accurate. Alright, next is a big one on my list. Kang the Conqueror. Um... Now, again, second-hand market, um, you know, this is a jumping in price. I managed to find one that was just a couple of bucks over retail, and I jumped at it, and I'm glad I did, because Kang is awesome, with some sauce on the side. Ew, that sounded bad. Um, okay, so if I had a gripe, it's a minor one, um, the lines on the face are a little too bright. Should have toned it down a little bit. I don't hate it, but it, it, it seems a lot brighter than what Kang usually is. Now, I do like the mold, do like the figure, uh, like that gun. The gun's great, the extra hands are great. Um, again, not much I can say about it besides it's a good figure. I, I really do like it. Um, it looks and feels like Kang. Should be a look and feel. I am going to go on a limb and say four and a half stars. I think this is the best Kang we're ever going to get. Uh, Kang's always going to look weird. You, you can't help it. He's Kang. He's going to have a weird look to him. So, you know, you kind of go along with it with this. So, I'm still interested to see how he looks in the MCU. Um, they keep hitting, it, hitting at him, but he's keeping quiet. So, we'll see. And just for some real quick comparison, here he is with uh, Reed Richards from the uh, Retro Fantastic Four line, and of course, Ultron. And next up is Captain Marvel. Well, <laughs> you know, um, Marvel, wow, that's a, that's a complicated one. Because literally, you know, he died in the early 80s. And he kind of had this weird legacy ever since. And um, it's funny because, you know, people, they tease us about resurrections of him. And I'm like, no, 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 don't ruin that classic story. Oh, it's so sad, but so perfect. And, you know, the one time they did it was a scroll, thank God. Um, I was really getting upset at Marvel over that one. I was like, how dare you bring back Captain Marvel? He died. You know, it's a... 
uh, it's one of the best stories written is Death of Captain Marvel. I mean, it's just fantastic. And I do think um, there was that one Superman mo Superman story um, for Earth or something like that where he did almost the same thing. Um, and I think that was taken from the Death of Captain Marvel. I've, I've always thought that. And people say I'm crazy. They don't read the same. And I, I said, no, I don't read the same. And I'm, they're obviously not going to use the exact same stuff. But, you know, the idea is the same. So, yeah, I've been very against Captain Marvel coming back. And I think they're going to keep Captain Marvel dead for now. You never know. But uh, Captain Marvel looks cool and looks cool flying. <laughs> I love that. And, yeah, yeah, so why would I want a Captain Marvel figure if Captain Marvel's dead? I just like Captain Marvel. I mean, I love those old comics, man. The old stories that rock. Uh, if you've not read them, go read them. What are you doing here? Go read. Get a digital. You do what I do. Get a digital comic subscription. Catch up on the new stuff. Go back and reread some old stuff. That's what I do every couple of months. Works like a charm. You know, they get a little bit of money out of you, but not much. Just, you know, and then set yourself time aside, read. And uh, that keeps you kind of up to date. Well, at the same time. Uh, it gives you some access to some old stuff, which you need some access to some old stuff. Old stuff is where the foundations come from. And, you know, then maybe maybe you won't take some of these things so um, seriously. Because that might help, too. Uh, Captain Marvel. Sorry, I'm back to Captain Marvel. Um, yeah, Captain Marvel was that uh, cosmic hero before it was cool. So I really like the look and the paint on this figure. I will give this four and a half stars easy. You know, I am a big Captain Marvel fan, so you know that helps a lot. The, the blue shines really good. Um, and gold, it's great. I mean, just a great figure. Now, last but certainly not least, what a Wookiee, Chewbacca. Um, and again, this is kind of an early one for the Black Series. Um, again, I bought this because it was a deal. Um, lower than a current um, or one back then even for uh, Black Series I was surprised about that and uh, yeah this is a pretty good looking Chewie I gotta admit uh, the paint's pretty good I mean it's you know it's a little bunched up um, and that doesn't make me happy because uh, to me it should be a little more textured uh, now that's not to say it's terrible but you know it is a drawback um, you know, the hair goes down all the way. It does impede some of the articulation, so expect that. Uh, he's a bigger figure. He's got a little bit extra um, in the torso going on. Fine, good job. Um, and of course he's got a bowcaster. You know, I uh, this is a tough one because you know I'll be the first to admit it's not the greatest figure ever, but it's not a terrible figure. I'm gonna say four stars just because. It's pretty good. Uh, I like it. Um, I'm a huge Chewy fan, so that's easy enough. I really wanted to try to track down the uh, set with uh, Chewy and uh, C-3PO. That one looked the best to me, but secondhand market had it priced up when I went to look. Um, so yeah, I had to pass on that one. So I got this one instead. Still a serviceable Chewy. Like them. I'm gonna go with it. So here is Chewie, Vader, and Boba Fett. And as you can see, he's a little bit taller than most of the Black Series figures. And then of course with his old buddy Han, because of course he would be. And then finally I put Chewie with Loki. Why? Because that's my cat's names. No, really, that's my cat's name. Here they are. Now if you can guess which one's Loki and which one's Chewie, <laughs> good job. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this haul. It's some pretty good stuff. A couple things I spent a little bit more than I should have for, but hey, that goes with the territory, right? And I did get a couple of things I spent a little less for, so it balances out in the end. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for Infinite Realms today. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.